Did you know, Microsoft is spying and tracking on your computer? In this video, I'm going to show you how to prevent your computer from leaking data. Please take a moment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell icon for more videos. I will show you two methods to prevent your computer from leaking data. The first method has been widely used for a long time and is a popular free tool called ONO Shut Up 10 Plus. It is compatible with both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the best part is that it does not require any installation. Simply download and run it as a utility. This is the O and O Shut Up 10 Plus interface. You can find two settings, current user and local machine. It's crucial to know the difference between the two. The current user setting applies to the user who is currently logged in, while the local machine setting applies to the entire computer. Make sure to begin with the local machine, as the user account may not have all the settings that apply to the entire system, regardless of the user's preferences. As you can see, I've already turned on most of the privacy settings. When you try to make changes, it tells you to create a system restore point. You have to click on yes. I have disabled sharing of handwriting data, sharing of handwriting error reports, inventory collector, camera in the logon screen, advertising ID, advertisements via Bluetooth, Windows Customer Experience Improvement Program, Windows error reporting. The only thing I have not disabled is biometrical features, and the reason for that is if you're using a computer that has a biometric login like using your fingerprint, it's not going to work if you turn this off. You'll find plenty of options in Activity History and Clipboard app privacy settings. You can disable most of these settings without impacting Windows performance. By doing so, you're simply minimizing the data sent to Microsoft and other third-party sources. If you continue scrolling, you will find some security settings. Microsoft has embedded telemetry into almost every component, so you will need to disable it individually. The same goes for Microsoft Edge, where you will find a plenty of settings. Disable tracking in the web, check for saved payment methods by site, personalize advertising, disable automatic completion of web addresses in the address bar. Here also you have to disable automatic completion of web addresses in address bar, Disable Microsoft Edge launch in the background. Disable loading the start and new tab pages in the background. I never use Cortana, so I've turned off everything over here except the online speech recognition which is used in Microsoft Dictation Tool. I mostly do speech to text in Microsoft Word. I've disabled location services, but keep in mind that some apps may require them. These settings are not necessarily recommended for everyone, so feel free to customize them to suit your needs. If you don't plan on using location services, simply turn them off, especially if you don't use maps on your PC. We're at user behavior now, and once again we have application telemetry in place. This means that Microsoft is gathering data on how you use your applications and sending it to various sources for analysis. If you're not comfortable with that, you can disable application telemetry. However, if you're doing any kind of diagnostics, you may want to leave log collection enabled. But let's face it, I've never used diagnostics or support from Microsoft. When I have a computer issue, I just search online for someone else who has had the same problem and use their solution. You can turn off diagnostic and log collection because it's not really helping. You can also turn off peer-to-peer -peer connections on Windows Update. Some of these changes can improve your security by reducing the number of networks addresses you connect to. This can also help you delay updates if there's a particularly annoying upgrade being recommended or forced on you. You can also apply it to driver updates if Windows is downloading a driver you don't want or need. However, I wouldn't advise completely disabling updates since you need security updates. You have the option to export your settings if you use this on different computers. Once you've set everything up perfectly, you can export the settings to a file. Then, Simply load the config file and all your settings will be remembered. Click on File, then select Export and export your file. Once you are done with the export, go ahead and close it. It will tell you to run it again after a Windows update. Just click on OK. You have to restart your PC for the changes to take place. Let me restart my computer.
There's another utility program called Windows Ultimate Tweaker that functions similarly to ONO ShutUp 10 Plus. It's an amazing tool that I highly recommend using, as it lets you customize various aspects of Windows in ways that Microsoft doesn't offer. For example, if you go under Customization and Restore Windows 10 styled context menus, you can get rid of the context menu that Windows 11 has added and go back to the previous Windows 10 context menu where you actually have all your settings. You can spot the old Windows 10 context menus when you right-click on a folder. Let's head over to the main thing that will prevent our computer from leaking data. Select the Security and Privacy tab. Under the Security settings, you can disable a lot of different parts of the system. You can disable Windows error reporting. If you don't use OneDrive, you can disable it. You can also turn off user tracking. The main settings are under the Privacy. You have to disable Telemetry, Disable and Reset Advertising ID. Disable Handwriting Data Sharing. Disable Taskbar Bing Web Search, Disable App Access to User Account Info, Disable Windows Update Sharing, Disable Windows Feedback Requests, Disable Inventory Collector, Disable Application Telemetry, Disable Sync of All Settings. Once you are done, apply all the tweaks and close it. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it. If you have any question, feel free to comment down below in the comment section and I will respond to it. Thanks for watching.